Hey yeah, Stingers, welcome back to another unboxing video here at JJ's Little Stings. So, two I had two parcels rock up today, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of them rocked up a day early, which was great, um, because it just makes it a lot easier when it's all, all in one go. Alright, so we'll get right into it, and I'll just, um, uh, let's start with the big box, I reckon. So we'll put you, oh my god, there we go. There we go. Yeah. A bit faster. <laughs> Why, what do we have in here, people? We have ice cream! Another one. That's that box. Empty. Now I already want to know what's in these containers. This is, it is the undescribed giant black millipedes. These guys are great and they actually grow up to about up to around 200 millimeters, so 20 centimeters. Uh, so they are huge. But uh, before I open them up, I'm gonna grab a couple of gloves. Now, because mainly if they are stressed out or they feel threatened, they'll release uh, an orange substance and it, it, it can stay in your hands for quite a few days. Plus, the smell isn't very pleasant, but as long as you are gentle with them, most of the time they're not going to release this, they're not going to release this orange liquid. Uh, but you know what, these guys are great, I love them, I've already done a video on them, but you know what, I'm going to show you anyway because they are great fun. We'll slice them open first. Alright, here they are. Wait, that's not gonna work. Let's get our gloves on. It's a good, work, good reason I'm wearing my black shirt because knowing my luck, if I was wearing the white one, it would get covered in orange spray. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm one of those people who can't keep a white shirt white. So, uh, let's... Get it out. There we go. Hello. Adorable little buggers. Okay, is that one open? <laughs> there they are. They've got a good grip of the paper, of the um, tissue, so we'll just try and. Oh, look, a little cutie. Oh, look at that one. You're adorable. Put them into the box here. And then I can sort them out afterwards. Not fully grown yet, but look at that. Isn't that just adorable? Uh, they seem pretty relaxed. <laughs> I love them. I really do. They're just amazing. Alright, we'll put you guys in the container. This one's just a little sweetie. Here you are. Come on. Just gently tip them in. Not a single one sprayed on me yet. Ah, oh, it's always the way. Alright, get them out. Alright, we'll just tip the rest in now. Nice and gently. You're a big one. Come on. Yeah. See, that's basically the spray there. That would have happened when putting them in. Or if they were getting shaken up a little bit during post. Uh, they might have released some. But now, they've been... <laughs> I haven't got any on me, so they've been pretty good. <laughs> These guys are just fun. And when you're not wearing gloves, they really do tickle. Plus, they have a much better grip when you're not wearing gloves. It's all right. We'll put you down, little one. There you go. So gentle. These guys are great for kids that are interested in bugs. They can be easily handled, looked after, um... Once you have them all set up, they are extremely cheap to look after. Um, they basically go off, uh, 
a mixture of different gum leaves which would be great for them and you can give them some veggies now and again but you want to bury it in the substrate if you're able to and they'll find their way to it unfortunately i don't know how to sex these guys there has to be a way i'm just not sure how to I'll go grab the air enclosure for now. It's it might get a little cramped just for a week or so, but um, I've already got a pre-order for these guys, so most of the, for these little ones, so a few of them will be sent off in the next week or so once they've had a rest. I'm just gonna let that water settle for a bit. Um, you don't want to put them in while it's like that. I just wanted to give it extra moisture because the substrate itself was a little dry. Um, but I'll just grab, I'll grab some of these, I'll grab these leaves. These leaves can go back in. I'm just gonna give them some sweet potato. Take off the end. Just dry it out. I was feeding the snails last night. Uh, you just want to thinly slice it. You don't want it too thick. Just makes it a lot easier for them to nibble their way through it. They also like rotten wood, so if you can actually get your hands on rotten wood, they will eat that as well. Let's cross that up now. I know that looks a bit messy now. <laughs> There, partially bare it just at the top. So keep the main base of it um, nice and compact, and I'll just burrow into it. But for just yeah, putting fresh veggies, just put it on top, the first layer, and just mix that and the leaves in. Give it another spray. At the same time, I'll wash my gloves off. I release the water. <laughs> I release the air. Now I am giving them a bit of extra water because I, I think in case they are thirsty at the same time. It's the part of the game. It's the part of the hobby. You gotta get dirty. And trust me, I've had jobs when this is just nothing. Alright, um, okay, I'll just... I'm getting my gloves again, I'll go give them a wash in the sink. If you want to give them a hide, like a bit of bark or something like that, that would be great. They will hide under that instead of burrowing. Um, I will have to go find a piece for these guys. Getting my gloves again. I'll have to go find a piece for these guys because I haven't got one at the moment. Uh, but in the meantime, they'll probably just borrow if they feel the need to. But once I leave this room, it's going to get quite dark, so they might not feel the need to at the same time. But I'll see what happens later on. So, let's get a camp, and we'll put these cuties in now. Come on. Yeah, you're just adorable. I love you all. <laughs> Here we go. That's one. You think you're going, hey? Where do you think you're going? Come on.
<laughs> they're quick. Yeah, they're quick, aren't you guys? Come on. Come on, you two. In you go. There you go. There you go. All right. I'm going to put a lid on them now. They are just being a little cheeky and getting away on me. But they'll have a nibble on the leaves and the sweet potato and then have a drink, maybe. Okay, let's grab the last parcel and open this one up, eh? We're ready. Alright, so what do we have here? We have some Wayne Forest Scorpions. Nice. I mean, I get these guys in for a little while. Usually I, I'm able to have them on a frequent basis, but not at this point in time. We'll get them out in a minute. Another one. And one more. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, sweetheart. Tip you over there. And last one. Alright, let's get her out first, I think. There she is. Hopefully she's in the mood. She might not be. I'll uh, grab... Definitely gonna need the container. That'll wash out. I'll just take a little bit of this box here because I don't want her running on the edge and hurting herself or anything like that. Because from this from this height, as you can see, it's about waist height. It it can kill them. The younger ones not so bad, but the bigger girls, yeah, it's not a great time for them. But let's get it open. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. She actually looks. A decent size. She was all curled up then. That actually had me a little bit nervous. I thought she might have been uh, a bit stressed out. She's a little stressed out. We'll get her terrarium set up and nice and cozy and we'll chuck her behind here with the rest of my gravid girls and the ones with the X sacs. Um, but for the time being, let's just get her out of the tub, have a nice quick look at her. I won't be able to house the rainforest scorpions right away, mainly because I haven't got enough substrate. I wasn't expecting them until the next, until tomorrow, uh, but that doesn't matter. So let's just get her out because I feel like she's, um, she could be doing a little bit better. There we go. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I know. Good girl. I know. Oh no, good girl. That's it. Good girl. Out you come. That's it. Good girl. Yeah. I just need you to come out because I won't be able to put you on terrarium while you're in this one. I need you in something a little bit smaller. Come on, sweetheart. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Nice and gentle. There you go, honey. She looks a little bit sluggish. Uh, she might be a little bit dehydrated. We'll get her into a smaller tub for now because once I go to put her in a terrarium, this is going to be too big and awkward. Um, but I should, I'll just be one minute and I'll go grab it. We'll have a closer look at her first. She is just stunning. As you can see, she has a really big booty and hopefully the trip hasn't stressed her out too much. Um, uh, Alright, let's get the terrarium set up. I don't have as much as I would like uh, for her terrarium, but being that she is a, a Philogius girl, uh, she's going to more likely create her home around the spider wood or with inside a hive. Uh, I'm going to give her a hive because she's already gravid and I want her to de-stress so she can just go straight into a nice dark place. An eye on her over the next couple of days, see how she's going and recuperates. Uh, but I won't give her feed because if I put any crickets in, that's just only going to stress her out a little bit more because she is in a new environment. But let's just tip this in. 
Yeah, I didn't exactly have enough, but like I said before, she's not going to be interested in borrowing at this point. Uh, but I am going to give her a hide to help out. But now, we'll just quickly level this out and then compact it. If she ends up being okay and she drops her egg sac and in the long run, after that, I will rehome her and give her some extra substrate. But she will be okay from now and she'll be well looked after as well. A quick spray just to help keep help keep it down. A bit of spider wood. <laughs> I don't think that one's gonna fit. Sometimes that's the case and you do just have to adjust them a little bit. Oh, I'll go grab another piece. Alright, I've got another bit of spider wood here. Hopefully I can squeeze it in. Uh Alright, let's grab this gorgeous girl and put her into her new home and hopefully she'll be okay. Oh, I really hope so. Alright, let's put her in. Nice and gentle now. There you go, honey. There you go. That's it. That's it. Oh, don't fall. There you go. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. There we go. I'm a little bit worried about her, just the way she is, but she could be just stressed out or might have gotten shaken up a little bit during transit. Uh, but I'll put this roof, put this lid back on. Um, and put her straight onto the shelf and hopefully being somewhere nice and dark and wet and humid will hopefully lift her moods up. But uh, yeah, let's put her away. Alright, before I can even think about opening this blind, I am going to have to dim these lights right down. Now, it might not appear that in the camera, but it is actually a lot darker in here. Now, if you're new here, JJ's Little Stings, uh, behind that curtain are uh, the rest of my collection of tarantulas. Now, the reason they're behind the curtain is because I like to keep it nice and dark as possible while I'm going in and out of this room. So, the girls that have egg sacs or are gravid uh, are disturbed as little as possible. Um, but I'm going to have to decide who to move off the shelf and put behind me here. Let's have a quick look. I can't move any that are, that are gravid or that are with an egg sac, so they have to stay no matter what. So I got a um, Selenopolis Sterling, she can probably be moved. These SB4s have to stay. Craspies, she can probably be moved, but I'll leave her there for now. <sighs> All right, I think what I'll do is I'll move the Selenopolis Sterling that's just here in the corner. And try and not shake up any of the others. There we go. Ooh, that was a fail. Where are you hiding, sweetheart? <laughs> She's got her burrow all the way at the back. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, honey. I hope you do well in this dress. There we go. All right, that's the um, big girl all housed up and put away. Hopefully she will be okay. I'm a little worried about her, but it's just hard to tell with tarantulas. She could just be sluggish and tired from the trip, um, or unfortunately she could be overstressed, which can cause for them to unfortunately pass away. Um, but we'll leave that her leave her there for a day. I will check on her later tonight to see how she is going. If she has moved from that corner and gone into the hide, which I hope that she does. <laughs> I have to have some kind of gimmicks in my rooms and lights are one of them. 
I'll go get another sponge and just give the table a wipe down because it's got some uh, dirt all over it. And then we'll grab these rainforests and have a nice look at them. Um, but I'll only grab a couple out because like I said, I don't have, I just used the rest of the substrate for the big girl behind me. So I'm gonna have to make up some more for these ones. But they'll be okay in there for a couple of hours while I get their substrate ready. Uh, but for now, let's just get up nice and close to them. Now the rainforest scorpions are one of my top three favorite species. Many reasons, these guys are just great. They're easy to handle, easy to look after. Uh, plus, you don't really have to worry about being stung by these guys because, well, they rarely use their stinger as their main source of, as their main weapon is their claws. Oh. As you can see, they are extremely placid. And then, you know, she, it looks like that she's actually enjoying the pats. You know, relaxing the tail, no threat at all. Yeah. You see, you're going you're gonna to pat on the back? Good scorpion. Yeah, you're right, you're a good scorpion. Who's adorable? You are. An interesting fact about these guys is they can pretty much squeeze into any tight crack in the timber or ground or whatever they want to hide in but they can run in any direction so say just to make it a little bit less confusing if i'm facing this way basically the scorpion can run the same speed as it can forward as it can sideways and backwards which is actually quite amazing so if they need to escape some predators or catch their prey they can move extremely fast and get out of the way or get into a hide as fast as possible which is just brilliant I do know a few people that keep these guys in communities it is kind of possible uh, but you never you can never rule out cannibalism with them uh, if they are not well fed plus if you say have two or three together you want a decent size uh, terrarium uh, probably like the ones I have my snails in uh, but as long as they as long as you've got plenty of hides, they should be okay. But like I said, you can't rule that cannibalism, so you always make sure you have a couple of loose crickets wandering around at any time. But let's get the other one out, too. Come on. There they go. See, she kind of just, just chill on my hand. You want to chill? No, oh, come on. Don't be shy. Thank you. Oh, he's going to be a little bit quicker. I'm pretty sure this one here on my fingers is a male. Come on, back up. Thank you. This way. The rainforest scorpion is also great for kids because the chances of them getting uh, nipped by the claws or stung by the stinger is very minimal. Plus, they're great fun. Um, as you, oh, see? As you can see there, she could quickly jolt to the right. See? No? You're not going to... Oh, and they got an amazing grip. As you can see, the other one, she ain't gonna fall off. <laughs> Boom. See how quick that is? And quite easy to look after and handle. Come on. Well, he's not, you know, he's not really being the best example. But it does make it a little bit fun. Instead of just sitting around waiting for pats. You're just waiting for pats, aren't you, sweetie? Yeah, you are. You just want pats. <laughs> now if you're new to the hobby, scorpions are a great, great way to uh, introduce yourself into them, uh, especially the rainforest scorpions as they're just so friendly in nature and you don't have to stress about them too much. Uh, they do require a little bit more moisture and humidity than most other scorpions. Uh, and a little bit more warmth though in that area there is a little bit more towards it but in the end they are a fantastic species and I would say they're at least a sub adult size the male here is ready to roll but I'm going to try and get them off now put them back in the containers and go get their substrate ready uh, with rainforest scorpions it's a bit difficult to pick them up by their tail being the size of their tail is quite small and delicate compared to say the flinders or the deserts or uh, the black rock, black rock scorpions which are quite robust. Um, but you just gotta be nice and gentle and I find the best way is just to, you can still grab their tail but you wanna kinda of nudge them onto something else at the same time. So I'll give you an example. Here, come on, let's put you back for now. Oh, oh, gosh you're quick. You are, you're quick. Wow, super fast. Call you the flash. <laughs> Come on. There we go. 
come on. Yeah. <laughs> They're not playing along. In you go. Come on, in you go. Like, no, I don't want to go back in. I want home. I want food. <laughs> this is the fun part of the rainforest scorpions, which is after you've handled them, is uh, putting them back. Come on. There we go. Yeah. There. No. Cheeky. And that male's just crawling around still. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. In, into the cup. Thank you. You too. Come on, Cheeky. You've tickled me enough. In you go. In you go. In you go. Another thing with rainforest scorpions, they are a naturally thin species, so don't stress too much if they are looking too thin. Uh, but it is okay to give them a cricket or two just in case you think they are hungry, because the possibility of them being hungry means it's there. So don't worry about it too much. Uh, I don't plan to house these scorpions in this one, because uh, I've got a fair bit on today and just don't have time to record a video at the same time. Chuck your comments down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Also, I do have my new black The Godfather of Tarantula t-shirt, which all sales go towards helping me fund and find time and to be able to get more equipment, be able to make these videos a little bit better. Be able to get the footage quality just a little bit higher. Um, but thanks to the sales I have already made off the white shirts, um, I was able to buy myself a set of box lights, which will which will hopefully help uh, with the lighting situation in here. Uh, it's bright enough for me, but unfortunately with the cameras, it's a bit all over the place. Um, but yes, I'm hoping that I get them by next week. So the next video after this one will hopefully have better lighting. But until then, I'll see you all later. Bye.